is that? So director of Yellow Academy, you want me to take over for a day? Yeah, no, no that, that should be fine. That should be fine. 28th, okay. Hello, grade four and five. How are you? <clears throat> Do you want to know what I'm going to be doing? Nope, I'm going to be principal of Yellow Academy. Really looking forward to today. Looking forward to meeting uh, Dr. Dung and uh, having an interesting day. Uh, it's been slightly different from plan. I've texted him, I've phoned him, I cannot get hold of him. He seems to have disappeared and uh, cannot be found. Dear Mr. Rittner, it is my great honour to hand over my position in the Yellow Academy as your director. And now, please find out the number 40 building in the campus. After that, you will discover another envelope there. Good luck. Have a nice day. Your friend, Dan. Um... Yes, I speak English. Uh, could you tell me where room number 40 is, please? Um, number 40, that way. This way? Yes. Thank you. You're to be a long way into the, the buildings, um, but there, done it, and now have my second letter um, for, um, for step two, I guess. Dear Mr. Britnell, it looks like you have found building number 40 successfully. Here are the tasks you need to accomplish. Number one, please create a calligraphy work which is about education. The tools are here. And number two, please Find Dr. Dr. Linda, Linda in the History Pavilion and discover the history behind the Academy. Please meet Dr. Mr. Liao at the courtyard across the garden from the building and learn some ancient Chinese stone rubbings. Number four, please attend the Confucius Memorial Ceremony at the Confucius Temple. Number five, please give a lesson about Occidental and Oriental education systems. Let's start with task number one on this list. At number two, please find Dr. Linda in the History Pavilion and discover the history behind the Academy. I'm Linda Walton. I'm a visiting professor at Hunan University's Yuelu Academy Research Institute. Mr. Dong, give me a letter which tells me that you're going to give me a tour around the university. Yes, I'm happy to do it. Okay. Let's begin. Very early and was one of the most famous academies in ancient China. Yellow Academy is over a thousand years old. You're very welcome. I enjoyed it too. It was pleasant yeah. talking with you and good luck with the rest of your tasks. Okay, okay? thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. At the courtyard across the garden from the building and learn some ancient Chinese stone rubbings. Yiga. Yaga. 
卡片呢，实际上是也是很中国的一个东西，它是雕版印刷出来之前的一个前奏，用先纸。用那个墨，慢慢慢慢这样塌下来，先要先要上纸，而且要匀称，可以把对中国文化的理解，在它一塌一塌一塌中间，应该有一个深入的一个过程。然后一次性塌下来就是一页纸就下来了，所以也是很中国很文化的一个东西。I thought it was a really good teacher. Obviously, my Chinese is not good enough to understand everything he said, but with actions and and him explaining how to do things. I can start to imagine if we do a bigger one, just how long it would take and and how easy it would be to to make a mistake. Our students already、um, do something like that in West. Second task complete, done. I think I did it. Ended up doing quite a good job.、Um, it looked good. Very proud. Very pleased. Countries and education systems and their culture, and trying not to. With globalization, it's very easy to lose your culture. And、uh, I know most、um, schools and governments and education systems are battling with how to keep that culture going. So I think ceremonies like this are very important for for Chinese culture. So this is my last task. You're aware that you're in here for a lesson. 用他自己的长处，把西方的这些方法对学生进行一种启发式的一个教学，嗯，这是个最好的。在中国的课堂，在中国的千年学府，请个外国人来来上课，呃，对于学生来讲是一种体验。正好呢，这个文化交流啊，也是我们所要达到的一个效果。就看学生的状况，应该还是很享受，达到了一个比较满意的教学效果。Making sure that students really feel enthused about what they learn。如果我陪伴他学的话，有可能流于形式，也有可能他不会有那么深的一个体验。所以让他在寻找中间去体会，我觉得对中国文化的理解更深更好。我是想呢。再送一个有中国特色的一个礼物给你，这个是一个戒尺。戒尺。哎，戒尺。And when I was told what it was for, I was shocked. Oh, I think I know. You think you know? It's for batting,、uh, while hitting children. It is. Yes. Am I going to use it? Let me think. <laughs> the other academies kept true to their way of being, kept true to themselves, and that's always to be commended. 呃，书院制度是中国或者应该说是全讲汉字文化圈比较特殊的一个独有的东西，不同的东西引进来，总会产生一个影响。It's very easy to 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 just follow the latest fashion, the latest trend, and education is notorious for doing that. Sometimes throwing out the old and embracing the new is not a A benefit. It, it, you need to carefully think about what you're being asked to change to, and decide whether that's worth it. Andy, 那么你们是在一种学术的场合嘛？那么认识，那么他也做教育，对中国文化有这个有兴趣。呃，对书院、艺术院了解，必须放到湖南这个范围。呃，更深一个了解，放到中国的范围，或放到世界的范围。